sports. It's in the game. Welcome to my playthrough of NCAA Football 2009 PS3 version, EA Sports. Austin Stadium, where great teams come to die. It's in the game. Hey guys, welcome to NCAA Football 2009, the first one for the PS3. I was going to do the PS2 version, but the PS3 version was just, uh, I kind of underestimated it a, a little bit as I began playing it more, so. So, here we go. Got a lot of things to show you off. <laughs> I mean, well, to show off here, so let's get to it. Anyway, got play now, got game modes, Dynasty. Campus Legend, mini games, horse, special teams challenge, tug of war, bowling, and option dash, and practice, and Coke Zero mascot mashup, mashup, <laughs> online team management to view you view, view and, and edit your roster, then the depth chart, and then create a player and auto name rosters. Then my my then my. It's a football 09, my legacy, which has you, your sh your shrine, e esports highlights, uh, ESPN, the classics, trophies, and user stats, my settings, house rules, user and system, my custom stadium sounds and file management, which is your save, and e esports extras with game previews and credits. So, so beef. Well, before I show the teams off here, I'll show you my legacy here and view my shrine here. That's it. <laughs> These videos and pictures there. There's all the teams from the Pac-10. There's the trophies there, showing off here. Yeah, a lot missing in that one, which I think it's probably... The awards I haven't gotten yet, which are pretty hard to get, so. So, let's get to it. Here's the trophies. And I'll let the PA guy take take care of the uh, definition of these. Known for its symbolic crystal football, the National Championship Trophy is presented annually by the American Football Coaches Association for the team with the highest ranking in the final coaches poll. Since the inception of the BCS, the trophy has been given to the winner of the national championship game. And you see which team won it, which it's on my channel, so. <laughs> the ACC championship trophy is awarded annually to the winner of the ACC championship game between the Atlantic and Coastal Divisional Champions. This is a relatively new trophy as the championship game has only been played since the ACC expanded to 12 teams in 2005. And I'm over Florida State there. Here's the Big 12. The Big 12 championship trophy is awarded annually to the winner of the Big 12 championship game between the South and North Division champions. The first game took place in 1996 with the mergers of the teams from the Big 8 and Southwest Conferences. 
If I was a home, it, it will come as soon as. Here's the Big East. The Big East Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best record in the Big East Conference. The conference does not currently have a championship game. But with only eight teams, every member of the conference has the chance to play everyone else in the conference one time during the regular season. The winner of the Big East is also given a berth in one of the BCS Bowls. Yeah, I went with West Virginia. It wasn't easy either. I had a lot of close games with them, which I'll show you here in a bit. Here's the Big Ten. The Big Ten Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best conference record in the Big Ten. The Big Ten is the biggest conference that does not have a championship game, and it makes every regular season conference game that much more important with a chance of winning this trophy. Not until now. <laughs> but yeah, but also Ohio State. Yeah, because right now they have a championship game. Championship game. It gives us CUSA. The Conference USA Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the winner of the Conference USA Championship game between the Eastern and Western Division champions. The championship game is played on the field of the team and ends the season with the best record in conference play. If I was the UCF Knights it, for this one, which wasn't easy either. I had a lot of close games with them as well. <laughs> Okay, here's the MAC. The MAC Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the winner of the Mid American Conference Championship Game between the Eastern and Western Division champions. The championship game has been played at Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan, ever since 2004. And as was from Michigan, which that one wasn't easy either. <laughs> Had a lot of close games with with these different conferences. Here's the Mount West. West Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best conference record in the Mountain West. The conference does not currently have a championship game, but all of the nine members of the conference play each other once a year. Yeah, that's BYU, and that one wasn't easy either. Here's the Pac-10. The Pac-10 Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best conference record in the Pac-10. The conference doesn't have a championship game, but all ten members of the conference play each other once a year in hopes of winning the distinction of being the Pac-10 champion. Of course, my Oregon Ducks. <laughs> Who else? Here's the uh, SEC. The SEC championship trophy is awarded annually to the winner of the SEC championship game between the Eastern and Western division champions year after year. The SEC is arguably the most contested conference championship in the country, and to win the distinction of being an SEC champion is quite an honor in itself. Yeah, and I was Georgia. Here's the Sun Belt. The Sun Belt Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best conference record of the Sun Belt. The conference champion has been declared of the Sun Belt every year since the 2001 season. Yeah, but I was Troy f f f for this one. Then the last one of the conference is the WAC. The WAC Championship Trophy is awarded annually to the team with the best conference record in the WAC. The conference was established in 1962, and it currently has nine members that span Hawaii to Louisiana. But not anymore, the, the WAC's no more, but yeah, it was Boise State. Yeah, see, a little bit different there, <laughs> that trophy there, because that one is quite different. <laughs> anywho, 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 here's the bull ones. The Alamo Bowl. The Alamo Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Alamo Bowl, which is played annually in late December at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. The Alamo Bowl has been played since 1993, and it currently matches members of the Big 12 and Big 10 conferences. And, and right there, I was Rice, and I beat Iowa by two touchdowns. Here's the Armed Forces Bowl. The Armed Forces Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Armed Forces Bowl, which is played annually at Amon G. Carter Stadium in Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, that was TCU, and I pounded Oregon State. <laughs> Here's the ATT Combo. 
AT&T Cotton Bowl Trophy is awarded to the winner of the AT&T Cotton Bowl. This prestigious bowl game has been played every year since 1937 and always falls the first or second day of January. The game pits foes from the SEC and Big 12, but with conference bragging rights on the line, this game usually doesn't disappoint. Yeah, but I was Georgia and I shut out Nebraska for the 1-0. Is the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. The AutoZone Liberty Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, which is played annually at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. In 1959, the game was played in Philadelphia, but due to poor weather and attendance, it was moved to its current location in Memphis, Tennessee. The game usually includes a team from the SEC, as well as the Conference USA champion. Yeah, but I was UCF and I barely beat Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky came back and I held him off. Alright, here's the Capital One Bowl. The Capital One Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Capital One Bowl, which has been played annually since 1947. This New Year's Day bowl game is considered one of college football's premier bowl games because it annually guarantees a matchup between the mighty SEC and Big Ten conferences. If I, if I was the Buckeyes and I pounded LSU, Here's the Chick-fil-A Bowl, known as the Peach Bowl. The Chick-fil-A Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Chick-fil-A Bowl, which is played annually at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. The game was first played in 1968, and it's matched up teams from the ACC and SEC since 1993. Yeah, I was Clemson, and I pounded Mississippi State 35-7. Here's the Emerald Bowl. The Emerald Bowl trophy. Oops, sorry. Okay, here. The Emerald Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Emerald Bowl, which is played annually in San Francisco. Yeah, but I was Arizona, and I beat Oklahoma by two by two, two touchdowns. That one was an easy game either. Here, here's the Fiesta Bowl. The Fiesta Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Fiesta Bowl, which is played annually at University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Since its inception in 1971, the Fiesta Bowl has hosted some of the greatest games played in college football history, including a few national championships. And, and some we, we do remember. <laughs> anyway, I'm still home my and I beat Cincinnati 21-9. Okay, here's, here's a good look. Here's the Gator Bowl. Jacksonville, Florida. This bowl game has been a staple of the college football world since 1946, and it's almost always played on New Year's Day. And I was Florida State, and I pounded Louisville 42 to 14. His GM AC Bowl. The GMAC Bowl Trophy is awarded to the winner of the GMAC Bowl, the game which has been played since the 1999 season, matched up a member of Conference USA the foe from either the Mac or the WAC. Yeah, Bowles Tulsa and I beat Michigan 34 to 21. And here's to the Hawaii Bowl. The Hawaii Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Hawaii Bowl, which is played annually at Aloha Stadium in Honolulu. The game has always been played on either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, and usually pits members of the WAC Conference and Conference USA together in a matchup that is played in a very tropical setting. Yeah, if I was Houston and I beat Hawaii by 20. And here's the Holiday Bowl. The Pacific Life Holiday Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Pacific Life Holiday Bowl. It's been played annually since 1978. Yeah, but now it's Arizona State, and I beat Kansas State, 35-12. Here's the Independence Bowl. The Independence Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Independence Bowl, which is played annually in Shreveport, Louisiana. The game was first played in 1976, America's Bicentennial, which is why the bowl is named the Independence Bowl. Yeah, but now I was in Indiana, and I beat New Mexico State. State in a, in a shootout of 48 to 42. Man, that was a no defensive game. <laughs> My defense was terrible. <laughs> All right, here's the here's the inside bowl. The 
Inside Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Inside Bowl, which is now played in Tempe, Arizona. The inaugural game was played in 1989 between NC State and Arizona. And although it used to pit Big East and Pac-10 teams together, the current tie-ins include the Big Ten and Big 12. Yeah, but I was Illinois and I shut out majorly West Kentucky, 45 nothing. Here's the, the International Bowl. The International Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the International Bowl, which is the first bowl game to be played out of the United States since 1937. The inaugural game, which took place in Toronto, Canada, was played on January 6, 2007, where the Bearcats of Cincinnati edged Western Michigan by a field goal. The Big East and Mid-American conferences have tie-ins to this game and bowl trophy. Yeah, now it's Pittsburgh and I beat T T Toledo by two touchdowns. Here's the, the Las Vegas Bowl. The Las Vegas Bowl trophy is awarded the winner of the Las Vegas Bowl, which is played annually at 3,000 seat Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas. The game's been hosted in the Sim City since 1992 and it has tie-ins to the Mountain West and Pac-10 conferences. Yeah, but now it's BYU, and I beat the Texas by a touchdown. Here's the Meineke Car Care Bowl. The Meineke Car Care Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Meineke Car Care Bowl, played annually at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. The bowl game, which was first played in 2002, is tied into the ACC, the Big East Conference, and also the Naval Academy. Yeah, but now Cincinnati and I pounded West Wake Forest, 38 to six. Here's the Motor City Bowl. The Motor City Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Motor City Bowl, which is played annually at Ford Field in Detroit. The inaugural game was played on December 26, 1997, when Mississippi defeated Marshall with a score of 34 to 31. That was Western Michigan, and I beat FIU 27 to 10. Here's the Music City Bowl. The Music City Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Music City Bowl, which is played annually in Nashville. Current conference tie-ins include teams of the SEC and ACC. So anyway, I was Albert, and I beat Virginia Tech 35-16. Yeah, sorry guys, my cat wanted in, so I had to get up and open the door. Okay, here's the, the New Mexico Bowl. The New Mexico Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the New Mexico Bowl, which is played annually at University Stadium in Albuquerque. The trophy is a piece of Zia Pueblo pottery which is images of football players and ancient Indian symbols painted on it. The bowl game has only been played since 2006, so this is still a very young piece of hardware. Hey, I was Oklahoma State and I beat Navy 38-10. to 10. Here's the New Orleans Bowl. The New Orleans Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the New Orleans Bowl. 2005, the game was temporarily displaced to Cajun Field due to Hurricane Katrina, but it has since returned to the Superdome. And New Orleans Bowl, not New Orleans. <laughs> well, how, well, however you pronounce it. Anyway, I was Memphis, and I beat uh, UL Monroe 28 to 14. Here's the Orange Bowl. The Orange Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Orange Bowl. It's played annually in Miami. The Orange Bowl is one of four bowls that make up the Bowl Championship Series. Usually played on New Year's Day, the Orange Bowl has been played since 1935 and is considered one of the premier bowls in all of college football. I was Miami and I beat Rutgers 36-12. And here's the Outback Bowl. The Outback Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Outback Bowl, which is played annually at Raymond James Stadium. The bowl was originally played in Birmingham, Alabama. However, it was moved in 1986 to Tampa, Florida, where it's still played today. Now I'm Tennessee, and I beat Michigan by a few goal, 17-14. Here's the Papa John's dot com bowl. The Papa John's dot com bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Papa John's dot com bowl, which is played annually at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. Bowl was created in 2006 and it pitted the USF Bulls against the East Carolina Pirates. 
The conferences with clients of the bowl include Conference USA, the Big East, and the Mid-American Conference. And now it's West Virginia, and I beat Kansas State by a touchdown at 21-14. Here's the poinsettia bowl. The poinsettia bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the poinsettia bowl, which is played annually at Qualcomm Stadium in San Diego. Now it's Penn State, and I shut out majorly. San Diego State at 49 to nothing. Here's the roadies. Humanitarian bowl. Sorry, I'm that's a big word. <laughs> oh, wait. We didn't say anything about it. <laughs> anyway, I was for GI. That'd be Texas A&M by 10. Here's the Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Rose Bowl, which is played annually in Pasadena, California. Nicknamed the granddaddy of the ball, there is no bowl game that's more prestigious or rich in tradition. The game is part of the bowl championship series format and when at all possible, the committee tries to pair the top teams of the Big Ten and the Pac-10. And now it's Boy State and I barely beat Wisconsin and that's one of my instant classics I will show you here. About that game. Thanks, stuttering. <laughs> And I was Florida, and I beat Missouri 31 to 13. Here's the Sun Bowl. The Sun Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Sun Bowl, which is played annually at the Sun Bowl in El Paso. Yeah, but I was in Notre Dame, and I shut out Oregon for 34 nothing. I had to do it. <laughs> I hate to play against my team, but if it comes down to it, it comes down to it. Anyway, here's the Texas Bowl. Texas Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Texas Bowl, which played its inaugural game on December 28, 2006 in Houston, Texas. And that was Texas Tech, and I beat UCF 38-14. Here's the last one, the Champs Sports Bowl. The Champs Sports Bowl trophy is awarded to the winner of the Champs Sports Bowl, which is played annually in Orlando, Florida. And, and, and I was Purdue, and I beat Georgia Tech 27-3. And on to the awards. Yeah, bone. Yep. Not, not many of them, but here's the running back award. The Dope Walker Award is presented annually to the nation's premier running back for his accomplishments on the field, in the classroom, and in the community. The award, which was first given out in 1990, is named after the famous SMU football player and Heisman winner who also won two Cotton Bowl MVPs in his career. Yeah, but I was uh, Eon Johnson for Boise State to uh, win that one. Here's the uh, uh, the uh, Defensive Player of the Year award. The Maxwell Football Club presents the Chuck Bednarik Award in honor of the College and Pro Football Hall of Famer. The award has been given out each year since 1993 for the best college defensive player of the year, as judged by the Maxwell Football Club. Now it's Walter Thurman the third for Oregon to win that one. Here's the Jim Thorpe Award. The Jim Thorpe Association presents this award annually for the best defensive back in college football based on on-field performance, athletic ability, and character. The award was created in 1986 and is formally given out at an award ceremony that takes place in Oklahoma City during the month of February. Yep, and I was, yep, Walter Thurman yet again wins this award. <laughs> and here's the Punter of the Year. The Punter of the Year Award is given annually to the nation's most outstanding collegiate punter. And that was uh, Mibs from Georgia to win that one. Here's the Returner of the Year. The Returner of the Year Award 
is given annually for the nation's most outstanding collegiate kick or punt return. And Robinson won that one f from Oregon. Can't place the last name, sorry. <laughs> Here's the Coach of the Year. The Coach of the Year award is given annually for the nation's most outstanding collegiate head coach. And Boise, the Boise State coach got that one. And on to the rivalries now. Got a lot of them here. Here we go. Beginning with the Bayou Bucket. The Bayou Bucket is a $60 antique bought in 1974 by former Rice player Fred Curry. The bucket is awarded to the winner of the Interstate and Intraconference Houston Rice football game each year. Yeah, but now it was Rice and I beat Houston 20 to 10. Where's the Apple Cup? Washington Washington State battle is considered one of the top rivalries on the West Coast. The series dates back to the year 1900. The teams played to a 5 5 tie. The state of Washington is well known for their agricultural production of apples. Beginning in 1962, the two schools start battling for a trophy immediately named the Apple Cup. Yeah, but I was Washington, and I beat Washington State by 10. Is the Beehive Boot. The century old Beehive Boot, which symbolizes the hard work of the Mormon pioneers, is a rotating trophy awarded to the best team in the state of Utah. Yeah, but I was BYU and I beat Utah by a touchdown in, in that one. There's the Bronze Boot. Colorado State and Wyoming boast the oldest interstate rivalry west of the Mississippi. Two schools first engaged in their border war in 1899. They have played every year since, with the exception of a few years during wartime. In 1968, they inaugurated the Bronze Boot, which was won by a Vietnam War captain who was a graduate of Colorado State. Each game, the boot is guarded by the ROTC of the team holding the trophy, and it served as a long-standing symbol of the rivalry. Yeah, it bounced Colorado State and uh, beat Wyoming 31-17. By two touchdowns. Here's the Commander in Chief's trophy. This is the one trophy that takes into account multiple teams. Army, Navy, and Air Force always play each other with plenty of passion, and the winner of the round robin tournament between the academies wins the Commander in Chief's trophy. This award, which is presented annually by the President, is unique to the service academies. The Air Force has dominated the award since it was introduced in the 60s. But I was Navy, and I beat Air Force by touchdown, which that wasn't an easy game either. I mean, well, I mean, Air Force was, was coming back, but I, but held them off. <laughs> so, hey, here's Commonwealth. The Commonwealth Cup is a relatively young trophy that has been granted to the winner of the Virginia-Virginia Tech game since 1996. The cup is four feet tall and is marble and cherry in color. Though the cup is new, the rivalry between these schools is over 100 years old. And now that both teams are in the same conference, it's safe to assume rivalry will continue to grow. Yeah, it was a close game as well. I was Virginia Tech. I beat Virginia by 23 to 16, so by a touchdown. <laughs> Here's the Cyhawk Trophy. The Iowa-Iowa State rivalry dates all the way back to 1894, when the two teams would play each other as cross-state rivals. The rivalry became an annual one in 1977. That's the same year the Cyhawk Trophy was introduced. The award features the likeness of Iowa's Herky the Hawk and Iowa State's Cy the Cardinal and is given to the team that is victorious in the year's rivalry game. And that was a comeback game for me. I was Iowa, and I came back from 20 down to win it. No joke, guys. <laughs> that was a comeback game. Here's the Floyd of Rosedale. Minnesota and Iowa have played for Floyd of Rosedale, which is a bronze pig. The original pig was the prize of a wager between the governors of the two bordering states. The Gophers won that first game, so the Iowans graciously named the pig after Minnesota's then governor, Floyd Olson, and the trophy is still sought after by both teams today. And I was from Minnesota, and I'd be Iowa 17 to 6. Low scoring game in that one. No offense. <laughs> Here's the Fermat Cannon. Not only do UNLV and Nevada play for the largest trophy in college sports, it is also arguably the most expensive. 
Since 1969, they have played for the Fremont Cannon, an exact replica of a howitzer used by pioneer John Fremont. Weighing just under 550 pounds, the cannon is fired by its current owner after each score the annual battle for Nevada. And I was Nevada, and I beat UNLV by 18. Here's the golden boot. The Tigers and the Razorbacks started one of the newest rivalries in college football. They began battling for the golden boot. The trophy, which depicts the outline of Louisiana and Arkansas layered in gold, weighs almost 200 pounds. The battle for the boot takes place the day after Thanksgiving. It always has significant bowl and conference implications for both teams. Yeah, but I was LSU and beat Arkansas by a touchdown. That wasn't, easy, that wasn't an easy game either. Here's the golden egg. In 1926, a game between Mississippi State and Ole Miss ended in a riot. In an effort to calm tensions in 1927, the two schools agreed on the golden egg, the gold-plated football atop a wooden base. In 1978, the game was dubbed the Egg Bowl. And this game remains one of the hottest interstate rivalries to this day. And that was Ole Miss. I beat Mississippi State by two touchdowns. There's a golden hat. Clashes don't get much bigger than this Big 12 rivalry between Oklahoma and Texas. The Sooners and the Longhorns have battled each other every year since 1929. This heated rivalry is held annually at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas during the Texas State Fair. The Golden Hat Trophy was named the Bronze Hat when it was created in 1941, but has since been turned gold and given to the winner of this rivalry game on the field at the end of the game. Yeah, and I was Oklahoma and I shut out Texas 19 nothing. At the Red, the Red, the Red River Shootout, I call it. Governor's Cup. Kansas and Kansas State first played each other in 1902, but it wasn't until 1969 that the rivalry became the battle for the Governor's Cup. Although the Jayhawks have dominated the series in the past, in recent years, the Wildcats have owned the Cup. And, and it was the Wildcats, and I, and I pounded Kansas 45-7. to And here's the Governor's victory bell. State joined the Big Ten Conference in 1993. Its first opponent was the Minnesota Golden Gophers. The governors of the two states marked the occasion with the Governor's Victory Bell, which features a large brass bell and brass plate to the base of the trophy inscribed with the score of the games. And I was Penn State, and I beat Minnesota pounding them, actually, 35-5. to Here's the ally buck. Since 1925, Illinois and Ohio State have been fighting for the Illabuck. The first Illabuck was actually a turtle, which was replaced by a wooden replica in 1927. Students from the schools meet during halftime and present the Illabuck to the winner of last year's game. And I was Ohio State, and I beat Illinois, watched well, pound them 44-6. And I barely got by him in overtime. And I, yeah, by field goal, 40 to 37. That was a great game. <laughs> and here's our, our, the Iron Skillet. The Mustangs and the Horn Frogs have a rivalry that dates back to 1915. They've battled annually since 1926. Following World War II, the student bodies agreed to the symbol of an Iron Skillet to represent this tough, no nonsense football rivalry. And I was TCU and I beat SMU 35 to 10. The Jeweled Shillelagh. Crafted in Ireland, the Jeweled Shillelagh was first presented in 1952. Notre Dame and USC battle every year for this award in what is perhaps the most famous intersectional rivalry in college football. The foot long handle of this Gaelic Warhammer glimmers with rubies for Trojan victories and emeralds for Irish wins. And I was USC, and I beat Notre Dame by 20 in that one. 
Here's the uh, King of Nails. Initiated by fraternity chapters of both Cincinnati and Louisville, this trophy symbolizes the toughest nails mentality possessed by the victors of this game. Separated by the Ohio River, these schools are intense rivals, not only in football, but basketball as well. And I was a uh, Cincinnati Abbey Lugo by two touchdowns. Here's the Land Grant. One of the newer rivalries in college football is the battle between Michigan State and Penn State. The Land Grant Trophy was first awarded in 1993 to commemorate Penn State's joining the Big Ten. The trophy recognizes the place of these two schools as the nation's oldest land grant institutions. And now it's Penn State, and I pounded Michigan 28-3. to Michigan State, I should say. <laughs> Here's the Little Brown Jug. The Little Brown Jug is perhaps the most famous trophy in college football. The trophy dates back to 1903 when the Wolverines brought it to Minnesota, suspicious of the water. The game ended in a tie. Michigan left the jug behind, but later called, asking for it back. Minnesota refused, proposing that the winner of the game annually get the Little Brown Jug. In 1909, the two teams began playing for the jug for the first time, and have been fighting for it ever since. Yep. <laughs> and I was uh, Michigan, and, and I beat Minnesota by 10. Battle of I-25. Starting in 1993, New Mexico and New Mexico State have been playing for the Battle of I-25 trophy. Not only is the trophy a symbol of a great rivalry, it's also a symbol of state bragging rights. And also this is the Mall Loaf Trophy. It says right there on the plate. But I was uh, New Mexico State and I beat New Mexico by 10. There's a marching drum. The Jayhawks and the Tigers boast the second oldest rivalry in the Division I Bowl subdivision. The fierce competition undoubtedly stems from an actual war the two states once fought, and the game is known as the Border Showdown. Today they fight for the Marching Drum, a trophy which features the Mizzou logo on one side and the KU logo on the other. And I was Missouri, and I shut out Kansas 24-0. And here's the megaphone. Dating back to 18. The Michigan State Notre Dame rivalry ranks as one of the oldest in football. It is also one of the few rivalries that cross both state and conference boundaries. Since 1949, the teams have played for the Megaphone, which has all the previous game scores painted on it. Yeah, but I was Notre Dame and I pounded Michigan State 42 10. Here's the Missouri Nebraska Bell. Tigers and the Cornhuskers play for one of the oldest trophies in all of college football. The Missouri-Nebraska Bell was originally offered by a Nebraska fraternity, which stole the bell from a church in Seward, Nebraska. The trophy is a symbol of the rivalry that dates back to 1927. It was adopted by both schools and currently has an M and an N emblazoned on each side. And I was Missouri and I pounded Nebraska 45-3. There's the ODK Foy Sportsmanship Trophy, which is known as the um, uh, uh, Iron Bowl. In 1948, the two circles of Omicron Delta Kappa, Alabama and Auburn, sponsored the Foy Sportsmanship Trophy, which symbolizes the good relationship between the two schools. The Iron Bowl is the annual game between Alabama and Auburn, where not only the trophy is on the line, but state bragging rights as well. And now it was all burning. I beat Alabama 24-7. Here's the old oaken bucket. Purdue and Indiana played their first game against each other in 1891. They began to play the rivalry annually in 1920. In 1925, they agreed on the symbol of their tradition, an old oaken bucket from southern Indiana. When Indiana wins the game, they get to add a bronze letter I to the bucket. And then Purdue wins, they get to add a block letter P. Though the true age of the bucket isn't known, it's thought to be over 150 years old, and it remains as a staple of this rivalry to this day. That's an old bucket. 
Anyway, I, I was in it, and I beat Purdue by three in overtime. That was another over overtime game I had to do, so... Yeah. <laughs> close, close games and robber games, huh? Anyway, here's the Paul Bunyan. The annual Michigan-Michigan State football game gives the winner ownership of the four-foot wooden statue known as the Paul Bunyan Trophy. The trophy first came about in 1953 when the governor of Michigan donated the trophy to the schools. And I was Michigan, and I pounded Michigan State 38-6. to Here's the Paul Bunyan X. With the first game being played in 1890, Minnesota and Wisconsin have one of the longest-running rivalries in college football. In 1948, Paul Bunyan's axe replaced the slab of bacon, which was previously used to commemorate the rivalry between the schools. The huge axe, with a six-foot handle, displays the score of every game played in the series and is hailed as one of the great rivalry trophies of college football. And I was Wisconsin. I shut out Minnesota 20, 27-0. Here's the peace pipe. Starting in 1935, these two teams have been united not just by I-75, but by the spirit of a great rivalry along Lake Erie. Bowling Green and Toledo play annually for the Peace Pipe, a trophy that originally started as a basketball rivalry before migrating to football. The trophy is a replica of an Indian Peace Pipe that's branded with the logos of Bowling Green and Toledo. And I was Bowling Green and I beat Toledo 38-13. And here's the, the Purdue Cannon. Although Illinois and Purdue have been meeting on the gridiron since 1890, the fight for the Purdue Cannon didn't really begin until 1943. At that time, an Illinois fraternity who stole the cannon from Purdue fans in 1905 offered it back as a symbol of the growing rivalry. And now it's Purdue and I shut out Illinois 49 nothing. And here's the Seminole War Cone. Hand carved and painted by Seminole Indians from a 200-year-old Everglades cypress tree, the Seminole War Canoe Trophy symbolizes the spirit and determination of the UF Miami rivalry. And I was Florida, and I, and I beat Miami by 10, which Miami came back in that game and held them off. Here's the Shillelagh. The Fighting Irish and the Boilermakers first played football against each other in 1896. However, it didn't become an annual rivalry until 1946. The winner of the game is presented with the Shillelagh Trophy, which was donated by a merchant seaman in 1957. The trophy, which is an Irish war club, symbolizes the strong rivalry between the two backyard rivals. And I was Notre Dame, and I pounded Purdue 28-17. to Well, actually, didn't pound him, but it was a, I mean, it was a close game. And here's the Silver Spade. Also known as the Battle of I-10, the winner of the New Mexico State UTEP game has taken home this trophy. The silver spade is a replica of the prospector shovel found in an abandoned mine near Las Cruces in 1947. The trophy has been up for grabs every year since 1955. And I was in New Mexico State and I beat UTEP by a touchdown. That one was an easy game. <laughs> Here's the Stanford X. The Stanford Axe dates back to 1899, but it was used in a Stanford pep rally. There may not be another object in college football with more folklore and history. It was stolen by a group of Cal students and held in their possession for 31 years before it was stolen back in 1930. In 1933, the universities decided that the Axe would be given to the winner for the annual Stanford Cal game, and the tradition lives on to this day. Yep. And can't forget the big game that um, pitch play. <laughs> but anyway, I was uh, Cal, and I beat Stanford by two touchdowns. Here's the Sweet Sioux Tomahawk. Starting in 1945, Illinois and Northwestern played for a trophy that resembled a carved wooden Indian, because it wasn't so easy to move was replaced by the Sweet Sioux Tomahawk. Every year, the Tomahawk goes on the line between these two teams and they fight for supremacy in the state of Illinois. And I was Northwestern and beat Illinois by two touchdowns. 
Here's a tough one, Trophy. In 1959, Iowa State and Missouri were set to play when they found that the field phones had their wires crossed and both teams could hear each other. The problem was fixed, but since then, the two rivals have been playing for the telephone trophy, which sports the colors of both teams. And I was Missouri, and at B, I was State by three touchdowns. Here's the Tutorial Cup. Certified as the oldest trophy of college football, the Territorial Cup is given to the winner of the Arizona Arizona State game. Originally awarded in 1899, the Territorial Championship Cup has actually gone missing twice, once for 50 years. It was rediscovered in 2001 and now stands as the prize for one of the toughest rivalries in the nation. That's a pretty long time ago missing. <laughs> anyway, I was Arizona State and I beat Arizona 24 to 7. Here's the textile bowl. NC State and Clemson have been meeting in the annual textile bowl, a game named for the importance of the textile industry in the region since 1981. However, this ACC rivalry dates back much further as the Tigers and the Wolfpack have been going at it for more than 70 years. And I, and I was Clemson and I beat uh, n n n the North Carolina, North Carolina State 21-9. Here's the Tiger Egg. LSU and Tulane have a long, colorful history together. They played their first game in 1893, with the rivalry growing every year until a full-scale riot broke out in 1938. The Tiger Rag was introduced in 1939 to ease tensions between the schools. The Tiger Rag sports the colors of both schools and also includes the Louisiana State Crest. The original flag used in the rivalry was lost due to a Tulane fire. In 2001, a new satin flag was created based on reference photos as a replacement. And I was LSU, and I shut out Tulane, 45 nothing. Yeah, 49 to nothing, not 45. <laughs> Here's the victory bell. One of them. The Red Hawks and the Bearcats first clawed at each other on the field in 1888. Miami used a bell to ring in their victories until some Cincinnati fans liberated it. The victory bell was soon returned. It is now on display in the Miami campus. The current trophy is a replica, with one side painted in Cincinnati's colors and the other painted in Miami's colors. The bell is now a symbol of this Western Ohio battle that is now the fifth oldest in the nation. And now it's Cincinnati, and it beat Miami University 31 to 6. Here's the victory bell. Basketball tradition, Duke and North Carolina have a football rivalry that dates back to 1888. Starting in 1948, these two great ACC schools have been playing for the Victory Bell, a prize which used to adorn a train. Separated by only a 25 minute car ride, this is always a very fierce rivalry. And I was North, North Carolina and I beat Duke 24 7. And here's the other Victory Bell. <laughs> Yeah, I got three of them. And perhaps the greatest crosstown rivalry in college football, UCLA and USC play every year for the 300-pound Victory Bell. Originally found in a locomotive, the bell was in UCLA's possession until some USC students stole it in 1941. The next year, the two schools agreed to make the bell the symbol of their rivalry and give it to the victor. The carriage of the bell is also appropriately painted to match the school colors of the winning team. And I was USC, and I beat UCLA by three touchdowns. I see it says missing on the bell. <laughs> so a lot of these rivalries have a, a stolen a story to it. I wonder, I wonder to this day, we can we However, the rivalry didn't really start rolling until 1946 with the introduction of the wagon wheel. Supposedly, the wheel was found around Kent in 1902 and came off a wagon owned by the founder of the University of Akron, John Bucktell. Anyway, I was Akron and I barely got by Kent State 24-21. But yeah, I mean, I just wonder to this day, 
can any college school uh, steal something to, to make it as a trophy for their rivalry game for the rival schools? <laughs> it makes you wonder. Anyway, here's the Williams Trophy. Now it's Rice. And I beat Tulsa at 45 to 20. Well, that's it for the trophies. Now on to the, uh, well, my games. I got some of these games that are on the instant classics as. Actually, no, I will show, show those next. Sorry about going into that. Okay. Here. And plus, guys, I just realized I'm, I'm missing one robbery trophy, so I'll, I'll get that I'll, I'm in the video here, so. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot there was one more robbery. Anyway, here, I'll, my greatest games right there. Dynasty. Greatest one. Ever. Well... Well, on mine, so anywho, but yeah, haven't got many photos, but a lot of videos. See, right there, that was my first touchdown with 329 left fourth quarter. It was a great defensive game, and then that was the winning touchdown right there. Then, yeah, th that was the t t tie the game up in overtime. Another photo, but anyway, here's the videos. Okay, that was, yeah, that was my first touchdown right there. And then, it was 41 seconds. Ruggers came back and scored another touchdown. I, I got in barely there. Doesn't doesn't look like a touchdown, but it, it was. And then there's my first one over time. That was the, that was the winning touchdown right there. Yeah, yeah. The overtime ones get mixed up a little bit. And I think that was, yeah. This was a, the, the first overtime one. Barely got in. <laughs> so, here I'll zoom it up a bit here. Okay, there we go. Okay. I think I got it all. Yeah, I did. Okay. Just make sure. And then there's the uh, Ireland Trophy. As, as soon as it loads up. Okay, here we go. That's when I sack the QB in the second quarter. And, uh, and a kick return. Well, a big kick return <laughs> for a t touchdown. <clears throat> and then I sack quarterback. Critical moment of the game. And then got a t touchdown in the fourth quarter, but Boston College tied it back. And that's how I want it, right there. And then I set quarterback in, I think, yeah, overtime, right there, so. Okay, here's the highlights here. That's second quarter. My first touchdown of the game. <laughs> then there's the kick return. After Boss College got a touchdown, I return the favor. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> and I took it all the way. Yeah, I was running to the other side because of the mascot, so. Yeah, 246 left, a huge touchdown here. That actually put me up by eight. Okay, that was, okay. That's my first touchdown in overtime. Well, the, well, the first overtime, I just... Run it in. It's the s safest way to do it. And then here's the, the winning one. There you have it. Yeah, I held uh, Boston College on downs and managed to take it in. So. And this one. Three overtimes. I managed to got to get it done. Purdue and in Indiana. And I was in Indiana. 
See, so yes, set core back first quarter. If you've got a pick, first quarter, third third quarter, that's my first first uh, touch. Uh, whoa, interception. Sorry, I don't have the foot of foot touchdown, but that's all my interceptions, third quarter. Then the fourth quarter there, that's. Yeah, a, a big game. That was my uh, fullback, which was a linebacker. And then a touchdown with a little bit of time remaining to tie it up. And then I picked it off with, um, well, I had a chance to win it. I actually picked it off um, later in the game. I had a chance to, to, to win with a kick, but just wasn't uh, the, the distance. It was just a little bit short. So, and plus I had a chance to get an interception and run all the way back. Almost did, but uh, there was one guy on the line that got me, so, so I almost got a miracle there. So, um, so here we are in overtime. But that's my first touchdown over time. And then there's my second one. And then there's an, there's an interception in, in, the, in the third overtime to, to, to pretty much cap it. And I just kicked a field goal after that and won it. So, here's videos. Okay, that's the uh, first touchdown I made. Sorry, I don't have the... Yeah, that's my second touchdown. Great blocking there. Managed to get a good, good read. Then here's the, my first overtime touchdown. Right there. <laughs> He was um, he was open, so I got him. And there's my second touchdown, second overtime. Right there. Then uh, then after the interception, kicked it right down the middle, and I won it. Yeah, if you notice, I've been playing in uh, neutral sites because I just want to. So. And then he. Uh, Conference game right there for the Mac. I beat Buffalo. I was, I was Western Michigan. That's my first touchdown right there. A kickoff return, nonetheless. First play. <laughs> first, yeah, just kick off and ran all the way back. Then, uh, then, then, there's my second uh, touchdown by interception. Then I sack the uh, QB, and, and then and then, and then this one, I, which I think I had the game well in hand, but yeah, not really. So yeah, because there was a lot of time left, and you see, and they came back there. Buffalo got 24-21. I I actually got a big uh, kick return for 21 yards, and then I threw a bomb with 30 seconds remaining. And I got it for the TD. That was <laughs> I just threw it up in the air and just like. He got it, and he and he ran all the way. So all right, here's my first touchdown. And here's the pick six. Then, then there's a touchdown run in the second quarter. There, and here's the almost the hail mary here. Right there, got it and took all the way. And my uh, de defense held Buffalo. So, And this one, this was the comeback game. Right there, got a pick when I was down 14 nothing. Got a, a field goal, at, well, at halftime. Then I got my first touchdown and then the third quarter. And then, uh, and then, 
there's my first lead right there. Got a touchdown pass, and then uh, and then uh, and then the Cyclones tied it up, and then I got a big gain there, ten yards, and, and then he uh, and then after a interception, then I, then uh, the, the the Cyclones got a, another field goal, so that put them in the lead. Worked the ball down the field. I got a big eleven yard gain there. 10-yard gain with only 17 seconds remaining, and then that was the game winner right there. Got a uh, curl route, and I and the guy was right there, and I got him, and he went to right in the end zone. So and that won it for me with 10 seconds, and then after that, that was the interception that that that, that sealed the game. So, which I'll show you on on uh, replay here. Okay, that was my field goal there at halftime. And then, then here's my first, my first touchdown. <laughs> here's my second touchdown for my first lead. And it dive, Don't know why. <laughs> then here's the game winner, right there. And here's the interception. Right there. Yeah, I won it. I was going to try to run the way back, but yeah, just a little too slow. <laughs> yeah, I just need it, and that was it. And this one right here, in conference play in the Big East, uh, it's West Virginia. Did a QB sack while I was up by touchdown. And then I... Well then, another, well then another QB sack when when I was up by one, and then tied there, made a big game for 13 yards in the fourth quarter, and then and then a, a, my uh, winning touchdown, so to say. No, actually no. One of my one of my touchdowns, <laughs> the third th 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 three yard rush that was a big game, and then uh, then so so then it was tied, and then I was. Then I made a big gain there. Made a big gain there yet again with 30 seconds remaining. And my running back just took it in for, for 12 yards. And that won me the game. And then and then right there, that was the uh, incomplete pass that, that, that uh, pretty much ended the game. So, swatted it down. Okay, so it, that's my first touchdown. And, and here's my second. Then, there, then here's my third. And just took corner and see ya. <laughs> and here's my game winning touchdown. Whoop! 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 <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> and, and that won it. Now this one right here I actually lost, but they counted as an instant classic. So normally I don't like to highlight games when I lose one. So yeah, that was an in conference. I mean, well, yeah, a, a dynasty one and just a little lost that one, which I almost, which actually came back in that one. But uh, UCLA worked the ball down the field and they got a field goal and won it in regulation. And the Rose Bowl right here, Boise State in Wisconsin. That was Boise, of course. Got a big fumble or recovery in the first quarter when I was up by a touchdown. Got a we got a huge touchdown there with. Uh, I was, yeah, sorry, I did draw the photos for the other touchdowns, but yeah, that was a, a big one there for 70 yards. Yep, 70 yard touchdown. And then after that, I got a and, and then after that, uh, Wisconsin got a field goal. And then I managed to get a touchdown with. Oh no, wait, no, that was a big gain. Sorry. For 18 yards, and then and then a, then a, and then another big gain for 11 yards, and then and then for a 12 yard gain pass, and then just one yard rush with 56 seconds left, and then that was the hold right there. Yeah, Wisconsin worked down the field, and you see right there, ride the five <laughs> with just 
two seconds remaining. One of my d d d defensive line guys made the stop and won the game, and it was a nail buyer there. <laughs> it's just the way that Wisconsin was moving the ball, I thought I was going to lose. So, think eight. But that's my first touchdown. Then there's one of my field goals. 55 yarder. There's one of my touchdowns when I was down. And then to, to tie it up, there's the big gain right there. Missed tackle, and I was gone. And then there's uh, my last touchdown right there. And that won me the game. Well, actually, well, actually the d d defensive hold won me the game. That was just a t touchdown that gave me the lead and, and, a, and it kept it. And then the Las Vegas Bowl made it as, as number nine. Instant classics. And that's the only photo. Just a 51-yard pass with 41 seconds remaining. Here's my first touchdown. And this was quarterback just kept it. Took it in. Why, why pitch it? <laughs> and then here's my second touchdown. Right there. He was open. While well, Texas blitz there and I just get in and then here's my and then here's one to take the lead. I was a quarterback. Got in the way a little bit, but that's alright. Walker got in the way, but managed to take it in. And then uh, here's the one that kind of capped it. But just right at the start of the fourth quarter. And then uh, Texas came back, but then onside's kick. Got it. And then that did it. And here's my last one. It's my uh, SEC opening SEC game, actually. One by a touchdown in, in this one. Got an interception on the right at the start. Pitching, 15 yard rush in the first quarter. Then I then then I got a field goal and then I picked the ball off. And then after a lot of time of not getting a touchdown, finally got one to tie it up with uh, in the fourth quarter with 4:46. And then, uh, then I got a big pass play when South Carolina, when South Carolina got, got got touchdown. And then I tied up with this one with a three three. Oh, whoops! Sorry, I didn't get tied up. They don't have the photo for that, but yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have the photo for that, but um, yeah, I got a th 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 three yard gain when the game was tied with two twenty six remaining. So, anyway, here's my first pick. Right there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's actually raining there. Not very good uh, picture picture quality. But that's okay. And here's my second inter interception. <laughs> and here's my first touchdown. Just pitched it, and he's gone. Barely. <laughs> but 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 I, I wouldn't have made it either way. And then here's. Well, I to tie the game up. Right there. And then I just run it in to take the lead. And that and that did it. Okay, so okay, so that's my instant classics. Here are my highlights here. Now this one I got video and photos here, so some I do some I don't. So, got a 51 yard field goal, take the lead, and then I did, got a return touchdown after they got a field goal, and then I, then I sacked the, the, the QB with 443 left, and here's the videos. There's the 51 yarder.
And here's a, one of my kick returns. This is number one. And here's my second one to put me up 20 to 3. After halftime, uh, my dang controller battery. Then here's my four three yarder to, to to go up by almost two positions, and then gone. Outside kick to seal it here. Right there. Then Air Force Navy, I uh, won, yeah, like I said, I won that one by touchdown. Got, got highlights for this one. Got a 62 yard rush. Got a touchdown run from the quarterback in the second quarter. And then, uh, Yet again from the third quarter. And then that was the hold right there. <laughs> they were trying to tie it up, but I managed to swat it down. So, that won me the game right there. So here's my first touchdown with the quarterback. And here's my second one. He was fast. And here's my th my third one. Just powered it in with the quarterback. Damn, my quarterback did all the work. <laughs> and then there's the um, border war. I just had one photo for that one. And the Apple Cup right there, just one photo. And the uh, Houston at Rice game. Meanwhile, the Bayou Bucket. And, and that's the Will Williams Trophy. Then there's the uh, Wigan Wheel. Which right, I got photos and videos for this one too. So. That's my. Uh, 30 yard rush for, for a touchdown. My, well, my first touchdown, that's my second one, and that's to my uh, wide receiver. And then a big gain there. Then I made a big catch there for 20, no, I mean a 20 yard rush, sorry. 20 yard, yard rush, and then an 11 yard rush by my QB to uh, seal it. So. Yeah, sorry, I don't touch down, but, but, but it's on video. That's my first touchdown. Just did a pitch and then leaped over the guy and I was gone. Then here's my second touchdown. Right there. And, no, and nobody was on him and he was gone. And then there's my third touchdown right there. Then I got a field goal, and then uh, Ken State came back, but got the outside kick and managed to uh, seal it with uh, one of remaining. And this one won me the game right here. Just did a pitch, and he got the first down. And that did it. Yeah, it's. Some of, these, you know, some of these games that were close don't count them as instant classics, but when it's like seven points or less, I I, I count them as an instant classic, but, you know. And then there's the victory bell right there. Made a QB sack. 
and then the other battle for Victor Dubell against North Carolina Duke. Then the then the other Victor Dubell in Ohio. Then then there's the Tiger Rag. And the Textile Bowl. And then there's the uh, the big game in Arizona. That was a QB sack there. Then the Telephone Trophy. One of my touchdowns. And then the uh, Sweet Tomahawk. And a, and a great looking catch in there in the big game I made to my running back. <laughs> I mean, I was under pressure and just, just threw it right there, and then, boom, he made an outstanding catch. <laughs> and this one I got highlights for, the, the Battle of I-10. Well, one by touchdown. Made a big game there. Then for, then a, oh no, oh no, a touchdown, sorry. That was a yard touchdown, my first one. That's my second touchdown. And then a big game for th th 32 yards to run. And then I got a touchdown just by a 11 yard rush. Take the lead, and then I managed to take the lead again with a kickoff return. And and then it was tied tied up. Got a big game there. Another big pass game. And then another big pass gain to uh, take the touchdown. Sorry, guys, I'm not. <laughs> I'm kind of got out of space, but yeah, but that, that, that was a, a touchdown right there to take, for him to take the lead with the 39 yards. And then, and then, and, and the and that was the interception that that sealed it. So, so there's my first touchdown in video. And there's my second touchdown. And, and that's my, my... Yeah, I didn't get the fugles. Sorry, I mean, they didn't have a video or, or a photos for that. And then there's my... Fourth touchdown. Just ran all the way back. A couple of missed tackles, and then I was gone. And then here's my game winning touchdown. Yeah, missed tackle there, and that's it. That was the big three, three, three yarder game. And yeah, and sorry, I don't, I don't have the interception that that sealed it. And there's the Shillelagh Trophy there, and one, one that one by ten with uh, Florida. And then that was the shutout victory with Purdue and Illinois. Then there's the uh, I seventy five. There's the uh, Paul Bunny Knacks. And then the Paul Bunyan, the, the 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 Paul Bunyan Trophy. Then yeah, that was the one in Insta Classics, and there's the Iron Bowl. And then the, the, the Missouri Nebraska Bell. And that's the uh, megaphone. And there's the Border Showdown. And the Rio Grande Rivalry. And that's it. Pretty much on the robberies. What you got? One more to to actually do. It's coming. And uh, here's the dynasties. Here's the ACC. Shout out! Shout out! Victory there. No problem there. Twenty-four to six over Maryland. Thirty-four nothing. Thirty-three to ten. That one was a joke. <laughs> I mean, Clemson was under. Was a big ranked team, but I managed to walk all over them. Then 20 to 9. 
Georgia Tech, and then 20 to, to 10 over Virginia Tech, then 20 to 7 over Florida State, I mean, uh, NC State, sorry. Then, then Miami, oh, we have, oh wait, yeah, th that's ACC Championship, sorry, yeah, that's ACC Championship one. Sorry about that, but yeah, 145 to nothing. Sorry about that. <laughs> and they had the, the first matchup with Miami right there, 34-3. Then Wake Forest. This one was the close, closest one out of the one the ACC, so. Made, that, that's, uh, one of my, that's my first touchdown catch. Picked the ball off. By my second touchdown. You got a pick six there, and then that was in the photos. Okay, here's my first touchdown. And then and here's my second. And then here's the pick six. From my none, from my linebacker, nonetheless. <laughs> then uh, here's the uh, offside kick that that uh, sealed the game. Because yeah, Wake Forest came back and I managed to uh, hold them off. So then here's the Big East. That's against uh, USF. That was from a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And oh yeah, in the backyard brawl, got videos for this one. This came a close one too. Sack the quarterback there. And then that's my... Yeah, second touchdown. Sack the, sack, sack the QB. That's my third touchdown f for a kick return. And then a five-yard rush to, to kind of seal the, the game right, right there. I think that's my first, my first uh, field goal. And a good old fake field goal to to uh, to uh, get my first touchdown right there. <laughs> first time I tried it and on, on all the game and it worked. And, and, and here's my third touchdown. Just kind of just kind of runs my own, own line and then managed to break free and I got a touchdown. Then here's my kick return to make it 24. Oh no, wait, no, 23. Sorry. Yeah, I, uh, somehow I missed the extra point. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but my, uh, de but my defense did the job. So, and then that was pretty much the uh, run that that sealed it on the uh, on the third and three. So, oops. And uh, yeah, that one that one was a joke too. Louisville was ranked, but I managed to walk all over them. And the one with Cincinnati there, instant classic. And then oh yeah, this one's a close one too with UConn. My that's big yo big rush, and then and then that's my second touchdown, I believe. Yeah, and then. Uh, then I made a big game there too in the fourth quarter. That's my fifth goal right there. And then there's one of my touchdowns. And then this edged it out. 54 yard fifth goal good because somehow I'm, I miss the.
Oh no, oh, oh, no wait, no, sorry. That was a missed field goal from a, a UConn tied up. Sorry about that. But yeah, but they, but they missed it, and I managed to hold on. So, yeah, sorry guys, wrong, <laughs> wrong uh, video camera there. But yeah, but that was the video that uh, UConn missed the chance to tie it. Then I went to Syracuse there, 35-7. And then that's the one with, with Ruggers. And here's the Big Ten. And there's the big game, so much for that. <laughs> and then the Alley Buck, yep, right there. Then Northwestern whooped them. Then against Penn State, that one wasn't an easy one either. Then uh, against Michigan State. Then Purdue, Wisconsin, and yeah, in the first one against my first big, big Ten game with Minnesota. That's just a, my only photo there of a, a big 40-yard uh, field goal, but I got video. That was my first points of the game. And then a pick six right here. Uh, oh, and there's my 42 yarder to make it 13 nothing. That was the one in that photo, and, and then here's a, and, and then here's another pick six from the same guy. <laughs> Whoop! And and that and that's pretty much it. Had a uh, big um, had a big uh, uh, stop too. Got an onside kick and I won it. So then and then here's Oklahoma right there. I won the, the, the one the, this Fiesta Bowl. Then the uh, Big Twelve Championship game against Missouri. This one wasn't easy. I won by one in this one. Got a, my first interception, and I got my first touchdown, and, and then a big game there for 20 yards, and then my second touchdown right there, and then I made a big game to pretty much seal it, so here's my first touchdown, right there. Then here's my second touchdown. No, no, no. One yard loss. That was a big one because it was fourth and one, and I missed. And I managed to hold them there. And then here's again that. And then here's the play that pretty much sealed it right there. Got the first down. I did it. And then, then the Baldwin game came pretty close too. Got highlights for this one. Got a big kick return there for my sec for my first touchdown. Ball was down. Then I sacked the QB in, in a big play. Sacked him again. Made it made it, made it, made an interception for for a pick six to tie it up. And then a big run. No, I mean a no another pick six. Sorry, and another pick six to make it. To give me the lead, and then, then a, then a pass from uh, for 68 yards for make it 28 to 14, and then a sec quarterback while I was up 31 14, and then made a big rush there, and we got a video here. That's my first touchdown. Yep. Yeah, these games were so long ago, it's kind of hard for me to remember them. <laughs> Got a lot of them. Then here's my first pick six, right there. Whoop!
Here's my second pick six. Right there. <laughs> Just a quick pass and I got it. No mean well a quick throw. And plus for that that and that's my linebacker. Yeah, that one. Then here's my Yeah, that was the bomb one. Right there. <laughs> Caught it. Somehow some way. And then and then managed, and managed to make a, a, a two possession game. Then here's an outside kick to recover it while the uh, Cowboys came back, but I managed to hold them off. And that was it. Then won that one by by big against Texas Tech. No problem there. Yeah, up against Nebraska, I won 21 to 16. He here's a here's an here's another close close run one. Ten yard rush. 46 46 yard rush to touchdown. And then a and then a big game there on on in the fourth quarter. It, it, that's my first touchdown. Then. Then there's my second one. Then here's my third one from another rush. <laughs> And I, and I managed to hold them off, so. Can't remember how, though. Because, like I said, it's been so, so, so long ago. And no problem there. 45-10. Yeah, I've whooped Kansas. Kansas was unbeaten. Made them like a joke. <laughs> then the Red River robbery there. Did then my first big 12 game right there. Then here's the CUSA. This one I got I had, I had a lot of close ones here too. Against the UC, then it's UAB, no problem. Memphis, no problem. Marshall, yeah, no problem. And then against Southern Miss, 20 to six. Then uh, UCF, 27-3. Okay, sorry uh, what I said about close ones, but got some highlights here. Okay, yeah, the one against Tulsa here. This one was an overtime. And it wasn't an instant classic until uh, others came in. Okay, that's my first pick. My uh, first touchdown there from pass through nine yards. Eight yard rush for my second touchdown. Then a sixty, then a sixty-seven yard pass for my third touchdown. And then a kick return for my fourth touchdown. And and then a big game there, sixteen yards. And th then I managed to, uh, to take it in, fifty-four yards. Pass. Then it. Then he. Okay, here. Oh, and that was the. The interception. I mean, the interception overtime that that sealed it. Here. Well, I got the highlights here. Okay. That's my fourth touchdown there. Oh, my fifth touchdown. Sorry, my fifth. Okay. I'm trying to remember where I'm at here. Okay. This was the first overtime. S Sorry that they're not in order. That's my first touchdown. Well, but my first touchdown overtime. And then, and then here's my second one overtime. I'm oh, sorry. Here we go. Make sure I was right. <laughs> and then here's the pick to get right there. And this won me the game. Right there.
then that one right there, 34 to 3. Then, then 23 to 14 was the close one, but I but I managed to hold them. And and and, and I'm sorry I didn't get highlights for that one because I was probably in a hurry, so. Oops. Okay, that's the... Wait a minute. Oh, crud. Oh, sorry guys, I probably don't have them all, but I thought I did. So sorry for the ones I couldn't show. Yeah, I don't see them. Nuts. Okay. Anyway, here's one of the, the bull games here. That's Miami and... I mean, they have the Miami and Rutgers Orange Bowl. Yeah, there's the Cotton Bowl. That was the, uh, that's the Sugar Bowl. There's the Rose Bowl one. And then there's, uh, uh, the Capital One Bowl, I think, yeah. And then there's Florida State Louisville. To Tennessee and Michigan. That one was a close one, and I got highlights for, for this one, too. Okay, made it, made it, made big, big sack there. First interception. My first touchdown. Big game there. Thirty yards. And a, a, and another big game. And then uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get my second touchdown. Man, that was a. I think that one s sealed it. So. Anyway, got video footage here, and there's my first pick of Wild Tennessee. Then here's my first touchdown pass. Right there. Then, 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 then there's my second touchdown, my last one. And then here's Nonsense kick that pretty much kept the ball there. Up for me, so and then and then and then that's one that, that, that sealed it with that big six yard gain, give me a first down. So, then there's yeah, that was the inside bowl one there. The Clemson, but that's the Chick Fil A one. Virginia Tech and Auburn, which I was Auburn, and then there's that shutout against Oregon in the Sun Bowl. <laughs> and then, then there the, the the whooping on on the Beavers I put on, and that one. Oh, and there's that shootout game, which I got replaced for this one too. Big yard, big rush there, 12 yards. Here's my first uh, touchdown. Here's my second one, 45 yard rush. A 97 yard rush. Yep, not kidding. For, for, for my third touchdown, intercepted the ball. About, about close half, well, that was about it. That, that, that's still the first half, and then. Big yard rush there, 67 yard rush, 26 yard rush, and then a big yard rush there too with 208 remaining, 40, 41 yards touchdown. But they, but they, and but, but they never quit. But 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 uh, this one sealed the game. A, a 14 yard rush by the quarterback to uh, pretty much put it away. So actually, honestly, it was the outside kick that put it away, but. Here's the highlights of the video. That's my first touchdown right there. Then here's that that big rush for my second touchdown. Got a block on the edge and now it's gone.
pitch it. Now it's gone. <laughs> Which was close one. It. Oh, yeah, broke the tackle there, but yep, yeah, after that, it was gone. Yeah, I made a light pitch there, but hey, it worked out. Smith, 41, might just, might, 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 uh, QB took it all the way. No problem. And another big game there. Did a pitch and I was gone. And that's all the highlights there. Well, for that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. I was Tulsa. Yeah, in the uh, in, in Boise there. That's Virginia. One by ten. That was Rice, and that one being Iowa. Then there's then that's Pittsburgh. Beach, in the, well, in the International Bowl. She's heading in Wake Forest. There's the, uh, uh, well, you know, the, the one in the uh, SF Bowl. I forgot the name. <laughs> then, but yeah, that's Texas Bowl right there. That's the one in Orlando. One of them. As there's ASU in that one. That's that's the Hawaii Bowl right right there, it's Houston. No problem with, with that game. And I got highlights for this one too, with the uh, West Virginia and, and Kent State. Yeah, sorry guys, I kind of forget the bowl names because there's just so many of them. <laughs> so. As the uh, kick return for 993 yards, a 17 yard rush. Then a pick six. Then a big yard rush there. And then here's the videos. Here's my first touchdown. When Kent's, when, when, when the Kent's scored touchdown, I was gone. There's the pick six. Thank you. Must have got a field goal too, because I didn't get that. Oh, yeah, and a two point conversion. Got, got that one. Then a big game there on in the fourth quarter. And that pretty much. Sealed that one. There you go. I think that's the New Orleans Bowl. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah it's Memphis in that one. And Penn State and San Diego State, right there. And that's it, pretty much on that one. And I got no more. So, here, uh, let me check my legacy and see if I got any in there. Let me check it out here. No, I don't. Okay, sorry guys, it's the ones that you couldn't see. Sorry about that. I don't know where they went to. So. So, yeah. So, for the ones that went to the CUSA uh, conference, the rest of them I just couldn't get on here. But but uh, here's some of the video footage from that one game with um, uh, Toledo in West Michigan. 
Now that that one was a was a close one. I just don't know why I can't bring that up. So I don't know. But right. sorry guys if I can't show them all, but it happens. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look at the teams here. I had to try to find a plug-in for my controller. I couldn't find it, so I had to search for one, and thank goodness I found one where it's charging. So I almost, <laughs> yeah, almost didn't have a PS3 controller. Okay. Yeah, better. <laughs> okay. So first I've got the Air Force Falcons, the blue top and the white top, Akron Zips, the blue top and white top, got Alabama Crimson Tide with their crimson top and white top, there's Arizona Wildcats, got their navy blue top, their white top and their cardinal red top, and there's Arizona State Sun Devils, number 14th ranked in, sorry, uh, Alabama was number 22 ranked. The maroon top and white top. The Arkansas Razorbacks got cardinal top, white top, all all cardinal. Then the Arkansas Arkansas State Red Wolves got the black top and the white. Army Black Knights got the black top, white top. The Delburn Tigers got the Blue top and white top, number 16th ranked. Ball State Cardinals got the Cardinal top and the white top. Got the Baylor Bears, the green top, white top. Boise State Broncos, you got the blue top and the white top. Boston College Eagles, you got maroon and gold, white top. M maroon and white. The, the Bowling Green Falcons, you got the Burnt orange top and the white top. And they got the Buffalo Bulls. You got the Royal Blue top and the white top. You got the number 20, 20 ranked BYU Cougars, Brigham Young. You got the Royal Blue, Blue, Blue top and the white top. You got the California Golden Bears. You got the blue top, white top, and the gold top. You got the Central Michigan Chippewas. You got the maroon top and the white top. And the number 24th ranked Cincinnati Bearcats got the black top, the white top, and the red top. Got the number 11 Clemson Tigers. You got the orange top, white and orange, all purple, white and purple. You got the Colorado Buffaloes. You got the black top, white top, all black. Colorado State Rams. You got the green top, the white top, the gold top. Connecticut Huskies, you got the all, all blue, white and silver, blue and silver. The Duke Blue Devils got the royal blue top and the white top. The ECU Pirates got the purple top and the white top. Got the Eastern Michigan Eagles, you got the green top and the white top. The number five Florida Gators, you got the blue top, white and blue, all blue, white and orange. Florida, the, the Florida Atlantic Owls, you got the blue top, the white top, and the uh, Florida International Gold Panthers, you got the blue top and the white top, the Florida State Seminoles, you got the Garnet and gold, white and gold, un, unconquered, but that's the black, the, the black and forms, and all Garnet, and the Fresno State Bulldogs, Got the Cardinal top, white top. Got the number one ranked Georgia Bulldogs with the red top, white top, and the black top. The, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. You got the old gold top, the white top. The, the, the Hawaii Warriors. You got the black top, white top. With the Houston Cougars. You got the Scarlet top, white top. And the Idaho Vandals. You got the black top and the white top. And number 18, 
Illinois Fighting Illini, which is overranked. <laughs> the, blue, the blue top, white top, and the orange top. And the Indiana Hoosiers, you got the crimson top and the white top. And the Iowa Hawkeyes, you got the black top and the white top. Iowa, Iowa State Cyclones, you got the cardinal top, the white top. The number 15th ranked Kansas Jayhawks, you got the blue top, the white top, and the crimson top. And plus, that was, and plus that was the last time that Kansas was ever ranked above 25th. <laughs> now they're... <laughs> and they got the purple top, the white top. And Kansas and Ken State Golden Flashes. You got the Navy top and the white top. The Kentucky Wildcats you got the blue top and the white top. And the Louisiana Tech Bulldog, I mean Bulldogs. <laughs> got the Columbia blue top and the white top. The Louisville Cardinals, you got the red top, white top, all black, all white. And the number six ranked uh, Louisiana. State Tigers, you got the white top and the purple top. And the Marshall Thun Thundering Herd, you got the green top, the white top. And Maryland Terrapins, you got the red top, white top, all black. Memphis Tigers, you got the blue top, the white top. The Miami Hurricanes, you got the orange top, white and orange, green top, white and green. Miami University Red Hawks, you got the red top and the white top. And Michigan Wolverines got the blue top and the white top, as usual. <laughs> and Michigan State Spartans got the green top and the white top. Got the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders got the green top and the white top. The Minnesota Golden Gophers got got the maroon top, white top, and all maroon. And the Mississippi State Bulldogs got the maroon top, white top, all maroon. And the Emerson's ranked Missouri Tigers got all black, all white, black and gold. And Navy Midshipmen got the Navy blue top and the white top. Got the North Carolina State Wolfpack with the red top and the white top. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers got this scarlet top, white top, and all white. In the Nevada Wolf Pack, you got the blue top and the white top. Oh, oh, and the, sorry, in the silver top. Sorry about that. <laughs> got the New Mexico Lobos. You got the cherry top and the white top. And then New Mexico State Aggies. You got the crimson top and the white top. And North Carolina Tar Heels. You got the Carolina blue top, white top, and all white. Then North Texas Mean Green with the green top and the white top. Northern Illinois Huskies you got the cardinal top, the white top. Think so? Yeah. Make sure you miss anything. Then Northwestern Wildcats you got the all purple, all white, and purple and white. Then Notre Dame Fighting Irish you got the blue top, white top, and green top. The what? The bled. The Oh, how Bobcats you got the green top, white top. And then number three ranked Ohio State Buckeyes got the scarlet top, white top. Got the number two ranked Oklahoma Sooners got the crimson top, white top. The Oklahoma State Cowboys on the orange top, white top, all orange. The Ole Miss Rebels got the blue top, white top, and Cardinal red top. And then my team, the number 23 Oregon Ducks, got the emerald green top, all white, yellow top, and white and black. And the Oregon State Beavers, their rivals, the Civil War, got the black top, white top, orange top. And the number 13th ranked Penn State Nittany Lions, got the blue top, white top. Got the P Pittsburgh Panthers, got the blue top, and white top. Oh, and the gold top. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I just go t t too fast. I'm just, well, I'm just trying to get this done, is what I'm doing. Got the black top, white top, all black. And the Rice Owls, got the blue top, white top. The Rutgers Scarlet Knights, got the Scarlet top, white top, all black. It's San Diego 
State Aztecs. You got the black top, white top. You got the Zano, San Jose State Spartans. You got the blue top, white top. The Southern Methodist Mustangs. You got the red top, blue, and the white top. No blue. <laughs> and then. The number 21 ranked South Carolina Gamecocks. You got the Garnet top, white top, all black. It's such the Southern Mississippi Gold Eagles. Got the black top, white top. The Stanford Cardinal. You got the Cardinal top, white top. And yep, that's it. Okay, <laughs> make sure. And this Syracuse Orange. You got the blue top, white top. And the TCU Horn Horn Frogs. Got a purple top, white top. And the Temple Owls got the cherry top, white top. And the, and the number 19th ranked Tennessee Volunteers got the orange top, white top, all orange. And the number 10 Texas Longhorns ranked the burnt orange top, white top. And Texas A&M Aggies, oops, got got the got the maroon top, white top. And the number 12th ranked Texas Tech Red River. Red Raiders, not Rivers. <laughs> got the scarlet top, white top, all black. Got the Toledo Rockets. Got the midnight blue top and white top. And the Troy Trojans. You got the Cardinal top, white top. Got the Tulane Green Wave. You got the olive green top, white top. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane. The Royal Blue Top, White Top, the uh, the uh, University of Al Alabama Birmingham Blazers, You've got the Green Top, White Top, the University of S Central Florida Knights, You've got the Gold Top, White Top, Black and Gold, You've got the uh, University of California Los Angeles Bruins, You've got the Blue Top, White Top, You've got the uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette Raging Cajuns, You've got the Ver, Vermalin, I think that's pronounced it. Top and white top, and the uh, and the University of Louisiana Monroe Warhawks got the maroon top, white top, and the University of Nevada Las Vegas Rebels got the scarlet top, white top. You got the University of Southern California Trojans fourth ranked. You got the Colonel top, white top. Got the University of South Florida Bulls. Got the green top, white top. Utah Utes, crimson top, white top, all black. The Utah State Aggies. Got the navy blue top, white top. The University of Texas El Paso Miners. Got the blue top, white top, all orange. The Vanderbilt Commodores. Got the gold top, white top. The Virginia Cav. The Virginia Cavaliers got the blue top, white top, all blue. The, the never 17th ranked Virginia Tech Cokies got the maroon top, white top, all maroon, all white. And then the never 20, 25 ranked Wake Forest Demon Deacons. You got the black top, white top, all black. The Washington Huskies got the purple top, white top. Washington State Cougars, you got the Crimson Top, White Top. The, 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 the number 8th eight, ranked West Virginia Mountaineers, you got the Blue Top, White and Gold, Gold Top, White and Blue. You've got the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, new team to the game. You got the Red Top, White Top. The Western Michigan Broncos, you got the Black Top, White Top. The, the number 9th ranked Wisconsin, Wisconsin Badgers. Got the red top, white top, all red. And the Wyoming and the Wyoming Cowboys, you got the brown top and the white top. I can't remember how many times I say top. <laughs> anyway, here's the uh, stadiums. I'll just let, let, let you read it because I have trouble with my STs.
great teams come to die. Here's the bull ones. Here's a conference championship uh, fields. Here's the rubber games. And a practice field. And that's it. Okay, guys, I'll be back with three Oregon Duck games to begin this. West Lafayette, Indiana, on the campus of Purdue University, where this crowd is all fired up for this college football encounter. And it looks like it's going to be overcast for today's game between the Purdue Boilermakers and the Oregon Ducks. Hi, everybody, this is Brad Nessler, and I'm joined today by my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. EA Sports welcomes you to what should be another great game of NCAA football. Oregon has a very good defense, and one of the major reasons why is because this young, strong safety. 
Whether he's playing center field in zone coverage or providing run support in the running game, this guy always seems to be making a solid impact around the ball. Let's get this thing started with a coin toss, sponsored by Coke Zero. Yep, this is the game where Oregon won in two overtimes, where Le where LeGarrette Blunt just took it in from the two-yard line to win it for the Ducks. So let's see if we can rewrite history here. Oregon is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. There goes the opening kick. Or Oregon could, could, could win this one in, in, in a regulation. Yep, I always ask, ask Corso, because it gives me the playbook, so. It's first and ten. Actually, Ball on the 26. well, the game does, not Corso, but yeah. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. And I choose uh, which one uh, looks good, and, and I go with it. Thurman was right there for the pick. Didn't get it. Try this. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 36. Single set backfield. They bring it down. Three half the four. Makes the team carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. And here's another third down. Set eye formation in the backfield. Drops back to pass. There you go. Tipped away. Well, held him. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jerisburg got on it. That was not good. Get off of me. <laughs> Got a first down, though. They pick up another first, guys. Great job here from all day and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. They 
come out with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything. That'll be a two yard game. He got him to the tight end on that play, but he did not get very far off in the last game. Once they see what's going on. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback is a go. Back to pass. He rolls up to the right. Pass right. Running back's got him. I was watching the whole time. I was hoping he would break free. Then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. No safety. Better be ready. Back up running back comes into the game now. Wide open the fullback. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. I'll tell you what, that big handoff throws the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice day in that time. Getting closer and closer. Yeah, I'll just let Roper check it in. <laughs> How about that? Great call by the coaches on the first 
It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run. Then they end up with another first down. And he's tackled. Down to 42. Ball four yards gain. Gain of four. It's second and six. Ball on the 42-yard line. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers put out in the formation. All right, drop it good. <laughs> That's first down for, for, for them. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. Single set back for you. There's a play fake. And he dropped it. Oh, good. Come oh, in. Two guys there. <laughs> in case it happens again. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. It immediately. Oh no! Not again! Oh, that's a touchdown for Purdue. Ah, nuts. I. I, uh, well, I should have ran away from, from it. That was my bad. Crap. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. Gosh, two punt returns, and they all go into... And, he the and they all come into fumbles. That, what's going on? <laughs> I don't want to... See See this from the start. Got my uh, special teams uh, struggling. Now let's see if we don't fumble on the kick return now. <laughs> Purdue is lining up to kick this one off. Now don't fumble it. He's to the 10. Get right, good, didn't fumble it. <laughs> Coach, I think we need to give this defense some credit. I know they trust their offense, but they really just took the game into their own hands and tied it up on their own watch. But they don't have much time to bask in the glory, Kirk. They need to come out and make another stop right here. And now. Oh man, shoot! Dang it! I thought he would catch it. I was wrong. Yeah, that's uh, guess that which play that the defense made. Got it right, but still, that's the, but still, that's not a problem now. <laughs> this is a problem. If I can hold him to a field, it'll be awesome, but the way it's been, they, but they got the mojo now. Oh, they got the mojo ever. Jeez, they got another first down. Pick it off. Ah. Oh. Okay, I thought they got the first down on the second down. Okay, well, this is a big stop here. 
I'm going to fix me play action. Nope. And he's going to get the corner. Yep. That's a touchdown. Dang it. Ugh. That hurt. That's okay. Second half. Second half. It's all right. It's okay. Really held on to it. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Don't remind me. They lost the ball on their last drive. They are only down seven points. to get well back into the game right here and now. As long as they keep their mistakes to a minimum. This will turn out to be a great uh, So They were bringing a heavy rush on that. Yeah, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long. No, somebody the broke through. No, somebody the broke through is what happened. Not losing too much ground. It only set them back about two on the play. The defense sets up in the nickel. He's looking to pass. Oh, shoot. No, it wasn't dangerous pass. Just he just didn't run his routes right. What happened? Oh. This is not a good start. <laughs> Oh, she made intercepted. Right in your hands. That's the second. Well, no, the third one they could pick off. Had it. Oh, yeah. She a blitz. That was my bad. I didn't realize what down that was. That's the fourth pick they could have had. Man, four picks there. Unbelievable. <laughs> four of them, and they could have gotten it. And yet again, he catches it. Man, and guess who? The running back. Wells. <laughs> Going to try to hold them to maybe if it happens. In guess I get a, a, a lucky turnover, which happened four times. <laughs> well, he just wanted away, but still, that could have been one. There we go again. Well, held them. Uh, 
defense thought they'd be able to get past this defense, but they were wrong. The defense calls a timeout. And it's no good. Well, that was a win. That's a tough break for this team. Yeah, but the defense is happy. They'll take wide right anything. Passing the ball allows you to stop the clock a little easier because you can throw the ball away if you have to. There are four wide receivers. Put out the quarterback in the goal. Solid plays for this wide receiver. They just go right back at it. And why not? Colby's recovered it. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Looks to pass. Dumps it complete over the middle. He's tapping. 47 yard line. Makes the catch. The offense calls a timeout. Number 97 on the tackle at the 47 yard line. Timeout. Second and ball on the offense. They line it up with three receivers. He's looking to pass. Catches it for no gain. Yeah, I didn't want that. Well, I got it to call time. Have to. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. But at least it was a simple play. The quarterback didn't try to force the issue there and risk the turnover. Wide open. Yeah, I couldn't get off in time. I knew it. Ugh, shoot. That's okay. Second half. Reached half time, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. The score here at Ross Hill Stadium is Purdue 14, Oregon 7. Okay. On that last one, I was. And I hope you're as ready as I am. On that last one, I was trying to get out of bounds, but I just couldn't get there in time. Taken at the five. And I couldn't get into the bigger turn. Okay, let's try to get a TD here. They come out with three wide receivers. Need it bad. Oh, man. I was looking at my running back, and he couldn't break the coverage. Ah. Uh, well, that's not a good start. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive line. The offensive line didn't do a very good job of picking them up that time. There were guys coming from everywhere. Go with the shotgun here. And, well, plus, my other guys were covered too, so I couldn't have done anything different. Got it. Press it in the position there, guys. If this quarterback keeps going to perform like this all the way to the end zone, he might earn himself a really I know which one to give it to. I, I, I hope he gets open and catches it. Got it. Yes. They'll bring it down. At the 47 yard line. Forget about it. You can't do this quarterback. The defense trying to catch himself down with a corner blitz, but he found his man for a new set of downs. This is what college football is all about. Exactly what I was thinking. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. The option left. He's tackled. Well, broke a tackle there. That was good. About <laughs> five yards in the quarterback. Five yard gain on the one. Second and five. Ball on the 48 yard line. The quarterback's in the gun with three receivers in the set. Here's an option. Right side. The pitch, and he's got some room. He's taken down. Had a, had a, uh, reach, nice had a reach for now that pitch. Now they have a new set of downs. First and ten. Ball on the 40. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. What? They did, and I was not, and that was not supposed to happen. And 
Exactly. Man, that was that was messed up. How to do it. Here we go again. Here we another third down. And got it. That's a touchdown. That was a late one, too, but I'm glad I caught it. And that's going to be a good game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be, but hey, anything happens college football. Stop here. Got it. Nice. At about the 39 level, there's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. Oh, it didn't say. Okay. Yeah, don't fumble it. <laughs> the punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. Gets it off. I was going to be safe just go out of bounds. <laughs> I didn't want to risk it again. They did a very good job of moving the ball forward. This defense had no answer for the offense. And in particular, it was the passing game. This quarterback was really hot on that last drive. He drops back. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad he reached his arms out. <laughs> That wasn't designed to be, but it'll, I'll do it. And I'm gone. Or am I? No, not quite. Ugh. It could have gone, but uh, Williams just wasn't fast enough. 
time, and that quarterback read this play perfectly and ate him up. Yeah, he just wasn't. Yeah, I was uh, pressing a sprint there, and it just wouldn't go. Well, I mean, go all the way, but this hey. This be a good time to throw a little screen pass. I let the play develop, and then I get the ball to my playmaker. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers put out in the formation. Oh, had it. The key to a successful screen is being able to fall the defense and then blocking them once they see what's going on. There are four wide receivers put out. The quarterback in the goal. Oh, crap. Oh, sh Oh, jeez. I didn't see him coming. No kidding. I walked out majorly. Crap. <laughs> Got it. Double Williams. Got it. Touchdown, Ducks. Nailed it. That last broken tackle helped. Helped. He makes the V18. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Supper. Almost made some mistakes there, but I'm glad they were incompletions. <laughs> we got very lucky on that one. See, this is why I have close game, guys. <laughs> It's just those type of errors that happen. But hey, it's human errors. He's to the 10. We have them. Take it down. And get the square for the fourth quarter. Pretty much. The score here at Ross H. Stadium is Oregon 21, Purdue 14. Nice. Yeah, I didn't like him getting him the extra yardage in that one tackle there. Tough defense is key. Try this. Hey, big stop here. They come out with three wide receivers. Get him, yes. Nailed it. Got him. Now it's time to put this game away. Literally. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Oh, excellent punt. Hang on to it. Good job. <laughs> Nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm, did a good job of picking apart the defense. This may be a good time to throw a little screen pass. I let the play develop, and then I get the ball to my playmaker. They line up with the shotgun. Makes the catch and look out. Very good tackle in space. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. They look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Just got to eat Seven that clock. Go. That's all I'm doing right now. From the gun. Wide open. Gave up the first and ten. They got both quarters 
blitz. And he failed to get to the quarterback. The offense is looking at a shot at six points. Back to pass. Oh, and he's hit it. They get only a yard for the pass play. That's a couple. Nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. They come out with three wide receivers. Example, but I'll tell you something. This kid is really getting better at running his routes, which is truly an underrated quality these days. The key to a successful screen is being able to fool the defense and then blocking them once they see what's going on. They'll work from the shotgun. He looks to throw on first down. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. A nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He's on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. The defense sets up in the nickel. Look at the throw. Swat away. All right, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I was hoping that he would go more to the, you know, kept going and just decide stop right there. Yeah, down. some time off here.
empty backfield. Quarterback is a goal. Five wide receivers. Throws it out and that balls in All right, last chance for the boy makers. I mean, I know it wasn't a perfect pass, but you can't win on it. Yeah, that's true, Coach. It's definitely not going to help his team move the ball if they can't start completing some of these passes. They line up in the jumbo set. And that's it. They don't get it. And that was a big stop to Yeah, They only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. The sneak. Gets the ball here at the 43-yard line. And this should be a deal down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just kneel it here. Calls a timeout. Calls a timeout. Just take a knee so you can win and go home. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Number 11 on the run. Lost this play should look out line. very nicely. Oh, I have to run it <laughs> because of the time of the clock. The shotgun with three wide receivers. the game. That hurt. <laughs> they were playing not to lose. That just doesn't work. Well, that concludes another game of NCAA Football 09. For Kirk and Lee, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody. Thank you for attending today's Well, at least it wasn't... Well, at least the, the, the second half was not nice to me, and... That what counts. All right, alrighty, let's get ready for the second Oregon Duck game. Outson Stadium is brimming with excitement as the fans are ready for the start of this one. And it is perfect football weather here for today's matchup between the Oregon Ducks and the Boise State Broncos. Welcome, everybody. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. Boise State has a very good secondary, and they are led by their star corner. This kid possesses incredible quickness, and you aren't going to find many wide receivers that are able to run right by him. As the leader of this defense, he will be relied upon to cover the best receiver and provide leadership for the defense. And now it's time for the Coke Zero Coin Toss, a winning combination with Coke taste and zero calories. I'll receive it this time. Yeah, this one, Oregon lost to Boise State 37-32. Has been waiting all week for this one. Let's read our history. The opening kickoff is finally here. He'll return it from the six. Brought down the 37-yarders. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. I put the option right here. It's one of the hardest plays to defend. From the gun. Here's the option. And now he pitches it. Oh, oh, nuts. Didn't go out of bounds. Ah, oh, Blunt, what happened? Shotgun here. Great ability against the defense. 
Second and nine here. They line up in a double tight set. They motion to the left. Incomplete. Oh, I thought it was a fumble there. I don't know how anybody can do a great pass from getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have gotten drilled like that. They line up with one running back in the backfield. Three wide. Yeah, dropped it. Well, held them. Didn't cost me. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and he defended it very well. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Fields in and hit immediately. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't, uh, you know what. They'll get the ball here at the 13. First and 10. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Hands it off. Ball pops great. Ah, uh, again, second time, but this time we got it. Come on, come on now. Let's not get butterfingers here. Full of good plays. So this momentum shift will be in the making here as we take a look at the possible. Well, it will. I mean, well, it will matter. There is inconclusive evidence. Then the call will stand. The referee needs to be 100 percent sure that the ball carry was down to overturn this call. Yeah, yeah. Boy. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even it wouldn't matter. I got down, the ball back. This guy so. has to do a better job of holding that football. What was that? Exactly. That was that was not supposed to happen. Oh well. Well, that wasn't wasn't designed, but hey, I got first down. That's what matters. Got first down. They pick up another first down. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Move the sticks. Oh, he jumped right over him. <laughs> Opens blunt. He's got a good group of work. Brought down at the 15 yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed it to that big game. Yep. You've got to stand your toes every play. Otherwise, you allow plays like that. Wide opens blunt, and that's a touchdown. There's a horn. Everyone 
He's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. One man backfield. Beats it to the back. And down he goes. In the 25 yard. The handback runs for four yards. Eight of four on the play. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 25 yard line. They line up with one running back in the backfield. Three wide. Straight in the middle of the beats the defense. The stop. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Paul Carey almost snuck by there, but this junior linebacker made a good stop. And these linebackers don't miss too many times. And they'll run him again. Mm, I don't know if he got it. Nope, he didn't get it. Fourth and inches. Nice uh, well, I don't know if they might go for it or not. No, they didn't. Okay. The defense to stop him just short. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, oh yeah, they're down 30, but they didn't go for it. Will be the return man. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 41 yard line. They did a great job on their last drive. Yeah, they all got out of the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Yeah, there was no lack of offense on that last drive. Yeah, they took the ball right up the field. This defense needs to find a way to slow these guys down. The option left. Pitch is back. Got an opening. Well, it's gone again. Inside the third. The 10. He's all right. Everything's working for me <laughs> so far. Flag on play. It's holding. Set three wide receivers. He's hit 
And then get it. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. What a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. That's why you have to run routes past the first down line. Nothing is more frustrating to the coach than coming up a couple of inches short. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Going for it. The score here in Eugene. Oregon, 14. Boise State, nothing. Oh, I got it. Play action. What an unbelievable fourth down conversion. That was a big time play. Heck of a job there to keep this drive going. High formation here. He must die too. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that throw. They come out of the nickel. Oh, he had it. He just dropped it. That's good. <laughs> that was the first down. No good. And the home crowd is absolutely loving it. The boys in this stadium makes it real difficult for those kickers to concentrate. Especially when you're right in front of that student section. Man, those guys are loud. Of course. Three wide outs here. Here we go. Almost gone again there. <laughs> then guess who? Ah, nuts. That's all right. I'll take the field goal. Great job here by the defense at shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. It's fourth down. And the kicker is on. I try this one from 49. It's up. And it's good. Well, the boys State kicker can do it, but I did. <laughs> the kicker was holding his breath on that one, but all that matters is that he put those three points up. This guy knew he could make it from that distance. Otherwise, he wouldn't have taken a chance on the field. Oregon, to kick. Oh, 
offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll get the ball here at the 24. First and 10. Single set back for you. That reception good for around four yards. Yeah, he was in several play. The quarterback made his reads and didn't force the ball. But they got some decent yards out of it. Oh, that's an intercepted. It did. Almost went all the way, too. Johnson almost went all the way. Second chance interception. Goal line de defense there. Huge. He should make this. <laughs> yep, it's good. That's okay. I mean, it could have been worse. Dixon, who's supposed to be the Williams, that's all right. He's got some big yards. Blunt's got some yards already. With three wide receivers. He's got a good room to work. He's at the 30. Good job of the quarterback recognizing the blitz. Getting the ball out of his hands for a 
Now I can call time. I just, well, I, well, I just want, well, I just want to get down the middle. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. Another trip to the red zone. Last time it resulted in a touchdown. And got it. Again, for the third time. <laughs> Shotgun, three wide. Wheels it out to the right to the halfback. There's a very impressive open field tackle. 
Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. This is very well played by this linebacker. He stayed in his coverage and made a nice hit on the play. Drops back to pass. Pulls it in. He wants four. Touchdown. The 10. And he will score. Oh, they didn't show it. Remember. That's his second receiving touchdown today. And plus, I didn't press anything. <laughs> And who else got it? Blunt. He's been huge. Put this one out of reach, but it's not over yet. I mean, it's not over until it's over. Oh crap, that was bad. It was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, well, got that time, thank goodness. <laughs> Receivers split out. The quarterback 
Oh, that feeling accepted. You gotta be careful throwing into coverage like that. Well, coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. From the gun. Option. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's on the run. They line up in the shotgun. Three wide. Ready. Ready. Look at last five. He's He made a good drop there. He's able to pick up yards underneath the cover. It's okay to work the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the go. go. That's the one should put one this one out of reach. Well, actually, it was out of reach in the last touchdown, so. <laughs> There's another big opening there. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. With the big lead, I think they'll keep it conservative and just run the clock here, Coach. Yep, they should. But you never know with this coach when he might pull some shenanigans. They'll run the option. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was a mistake, but hey, got a first down, though. <laughs>
said he was having nightmares about this kid. Now I can see why. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the goal. Option left. Pitches in. He's got a lead. Back down by around the 39 yard line. There's a player shaking up on the play. Oh, linebacker with BSU. This is a good position to be in. You got the lead. You got the ball. And all you got to do is run the clock out. Congratulations. Ready. Option. Pitches. And he's got room. He's tackled. On a 23-yard run. And that looked like three plays in a row now that they follow that run. You're right. And let me tell you, they have absolutely no respect at all for this defense. None whatsoever, but to get respect, it's very simple. Just stop them. Yeah. I mean, they're just not. Down to left. They just back. He's tackled with the open field. Whoa, the play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this offense when they're clicking. Na 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 So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. That's him. He might have a chance. Touchdown. And that's his third score on the ground today. Boy, this guy has been huge today. It's been a big part of the reason that his team has the lead. Well, you have to have faith in your running back, Kirk. And you're right. This kid is a big reason why this offense has been very successful today. EA Sports and Russell Athletic would like to congratulate today's players of the game. Nice job, guys. The BAT. So we're just over a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Our score, Oregon, 41, Boise State, 3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. He'll return it from the one. This is a solid defense. Try it out. They'll take over at the 35-yard line. Offset eye formation in the back. Passes and it's almost picked off. Again. Hey, coach. They are pretty lucky that ball wasn't picked off. The receiver needs to become the defender in this type of situation. That's true, Kirk. A little roll reversal. They come out with three wide receivers. Well, they were in the backfield in a hurry. 
Mack just had no space to run the football. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 41. Ace backfield. They'll run the option. He makes it out to maybe... My option's better. <laughs> That's the end of the ball game, and our final score of this one, score Oregon, Oregon, 41, Boise State, 3. Kirk, any final Boise spots here as we take a look at our Pontiac game-changing performance? Oh, there's no question about it, Brad. This is a game of complete domination. Boise State did not believe that they had a chance in this one from the start. You can see it in their eyes. You know what? Football is not just a game of brawn or muscle. It's a game that also requires a lot of mental preparation. These guys were not mentally prepared to win this football game. Well, folks, that's it for this edition of NCAA Football 09. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. And remember that if it's in the game, it's in the game. Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please yep. drive home safely. So, so much for that game. Revenge, huh? In a big way. All right, guys, we'll be back with the final. All right, guys. Okay. All right, just check us out. Okay. Okay, let's get ready for the last Oregon Ducks game. We're in San Diego, California, for the Pacific Life Holiday Bowl in what should be one of the better bowl games this year. And it's a very warm evening for tonight's game between the Oregon Ducks and the Oklahoma State Cowboys. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-host, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Oregon has a very good defense, and one of the major reasons why is because this young, strong safety. Whether he's playing center field in zone coverage or providing run support in the running game, this guy always seems to be making a solid impact around the ball. Let's send it down to midfield for the Coke Zero coin toss. Yeah, the Holiday Bowl. This game went back and forth. <laughs> but uh, Oregon managed to keep a two-possession two lead and, 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 and uh, won it. So let's see if, if we can win by a bigger margin or, or it'll become tighter. Which I hope not, but let's see what happens. Here we go. Chance at it, but that's right. He did a great job here, not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Go with the shotgun here. Option. Tackle Bay up and left, right around the 26 yard line. He got what he could, and it wasn't much. And he took a shot on that play, Brad. It looks like his head might be still ringing a little bit. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 26. Five DBs on the field. And no it's chance. Down. Just beat the ball to the receiver's hands on that play. Nice deep flexion. Yep. And now it's fourth down. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. Booming kick. This one up with a shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Nope. Might be a touchdown right off the bat. Yep. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> He's put the upright shoe against the wood. That's where we just want Pontiac drives 
Intercepted. Finally got one. <laughs> After all that. Oh crap. Under heavy pressure and they got it. I see that coming. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner and he just uses his speed to get the sack. Excellent play by the junior to make that sack. You don't see that too often from the corner position. No, you don't. Let's see how well you can run this play. So the sack makes this a second and long. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. He drops back. Look at man, it's his wide receiver. Good job on the pass there. Yeah, let me tell you something. He's passing the job what they need to put pressure on that defense. Here's third down. Four yards to go. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Back to back. Big play and it's first and goal. That ain't take much. They've got a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they make the most of it. Touch down here again. Guys. 
So I guess that the Cowboys might be the next victim here. He gets it off. This is the way that this Mike game is uh, out starting out. They really made it look easy on that last drive. If they can get some protection up front, then I look for this quarterback to make some really big plays. Really big. Classic blunt, he bleeps over a guy. <laughs> which he which he did that in Hollywood, so nothing. <laughs> My past two games have been in easy. But so it's not but but it's but it's not over yet, but it's still I mean that's what it feels like right now. in the 
shotgun. They'll run the option. And they make the stop. And the 44 yard line. One yard loss. You need to throw some blocks out there. Hit somebody. This ain't a walkthrough. They line up with the shotgun. This guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got blocked on that play. Now work for the shotgun. Drops back to pass. And he's intercepted by Chung. right over him. <laughs> they lost they lost five yards. Back to pass. He unloads it. 
No chance. Oh, it's one of the Cowboys. Oh no. Yeah, I, that's okay. Well, too little, too late, guys. Oh, yeah. No chance these guys are coming back, but at least these guys are still playing hard. Yeah, no, no, no. There's still a lot of time left. This is a solid defense. Try it out. Not over. Not. I mean, it's not over till it's over. Waste as much time as you want. I don't care. Because I'm because I'm because I'm getting the ball all second half. Walter Thurman. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. We played two quarters, man. It hasn't been pretty. Nope. Our score. Oregon, 28. Oklahoma State, 3. 28. Oklahoma State, 3. We're ready to start the second half, and hopefully, It's over.
the shotgun. He drops back. Pass right through the back stop. He's taken down. Right around the floor. This linebacker team has better start than shooting himself with a short passing game. Well, this quarterback here is going to the ball. We've got a first and ten. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. I'm not sure I agree with this offensive scheme. I mean, they made the completion, sure, but for such short yardage. Maybe they're trying to lull the defense asleep with their short passing game and then go for the big strike later during the drive. Good play by the senior corner to make a tackle before you go anywhere after the catch. You already saw what I'm going for. My gold option play. Option right side. Tackle at the 31 yard line. Next one. Gets the option for a two yard game. It looked like the rush caused some problems there, Coach. Yep, they were in there so quick that the running back was never able to get started. And a new halfback checks into the game. The option left. Oh. That's right. <laughs> and the run is good for big yard. Good gain, and I think that's the exact same play they just ran. This defense better find a way to stop that play, or we're gonna be watching them run this play over and over and over again. That's right. Drops back to back. Oh dang it. That's a pick six, dang it. That's all right. That's a mistake. Happens. Mistakes, they should be all right. 
Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> Who's that? Well, that was a good defensive effort there, Chuck. Oh, Ball was there, but the defender beat the receiver to a nice play. The defense lines up with six DBs. Looks like five of his tailbacks. Got it. Oh man, he just fumbled it. That's the thing, should not let him come back, so. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. Two tight ends set. Dangerous pass here, and it falls in the woods. No, that quarterback was going to play with instead of a wedge. At least he didn't slice it. There are four wide receivers put out. The quarterback in the goal. They'll run the option. They'll bring it down. You get nothing. No can do. Boy, you're absolutely right. Those guys got in there and shut them down. Now they're all fired up. No good, way off. And he missed it right, no good. So they come up empty handed there. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just shanked it to the right. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. And our score Oklahoma State, 10. Oregon, 28. Then throw on first down. There's a strike to break these down. So they execute a little closer to the six. Complete those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Here comes the final quarter. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, the Ducks, 28, the Cowboys, 10. This big screen pass. I let the play develop, and then I get the ball of my playmaker. It's second down and five to go. Receivers. Right to his and they make the 
first down on and the move too. So, wow, that's over 100 yards receiving now. Just just kidding. Kidding. We had a chance to talk to the coaches before the game, and they just raved about this guy's hands and his presence as a receiver coming out of the backfield. It's a tough matchup because usually the defense has to cover him with the linebacker. And this kid is so fast that linebackers have a really tough time keeping up with him. They'll throw on first down. It's complete. And he did a great job of holding on to the football. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. He drops back. Let's do it again. Complete. Oh, so if you look like that completion, I don't know. I really like this receiver. Not just on this play, but he does a nice job of consistently getting himself open to provide the quarterback with a good target. <laughs> Close. A good ten yards on the kickoff. Hmm. Yeah, it's too far. And this should be an easy three. Yeah, it should be. What? He plants it off the other way. No good. Uh, so the senior kicker is unsuccessful. No, nah, I don't think they have what, what, what oh, easy. Man. Well, those corner ones are so difficult. That it's like. It should have been an automatic three points. It should have been. It just a little too short. Yeah, that's what it was. Just can't guess that. They'll get the ball here at the 20. We've got a first and 10. You just can't guess that very good. That should do it. That's that's okay. I mean, I mean, heck, I got all the points I needed in the first half, so. <laughs> Second down. 
Five yards from a touchdown. Once and we'd again. Like to take this opportunity to congratulate our Russell Athletic players of the game. Time's over. <laughs> this is a solid defense. Try it out. They line up in the shotgun. Again, he'll get the ball. And he's tackled. Timeout called by Moore. The offense calls a timeout. They're down in seven. Receivers put out the quarterback in the goal. Picked off. And that should do it. They bring it down. And that will do it. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one. Oregon, 35, Oklahoma State, 10. Oklahoma State. Sure, you can take a look at our Pontiac game changing performance. Your thoughts on this one? Well, there's no question as to who the better team was today, Brad. Yep. Oklahoma State did not believe that they had a chance in this one from the start. You can see it in their eyes. You know what? Football is not just a game of brawn and muscle. It's a game that also requires a lot of mental preparation. Yeah, These guys were not mentally prepared to win this football game. Well, folks, that's it for this edition of NCAA Thank Football 09. Our football thanks go out to everyone Please here at EA Sports. Safe. And remember that if it's in the game, it's in the game. All right, that'll do it for the three Oregon Duck games. I'll be back to show off my uh, one trophy I forgot to get, so and plus the photos or maybe videos from the game, and so on and so forth. So, so that's next. All right, guys, I finally won the Governor Cup. It was a pretty tough game too, but I got it done. Known more for their proud basketball traditions, Kentucky and Louisville have a football rivalry that has recently been renewed. They played their first six games against each other between 1912 and 1924, but didn't play again until 95. Today, the interstate rivals play for the Governor's Cup, which was created in 1994. Yeah, and I beat them by by 15, so uh, so that was an easy game. I think I got in here somewhere. And I don't. I think I do. Yeah, I probably say it did, but it probably didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, but I was in the 
red and in white. So, while Kentucky was just in the white. So, anyway, guys, that's it for NCAA Football 09. I'll be back with um, their, their in the national championship game from the season, and then so on and so forth. So, so that's it. So, it's been fun, <laughs> and plus dominating as well. So, I'll be back with that, and plus more, and plus more NASCAR 7 5 the top mode as well. So, signing up.